Hey, future Caleb. Uh, walking sims are still a thing in the future, right? I mean, I imagine walking itself is no longer a thing. The explosion-y parts of hoverboards have probably been taken care of, and I'm sure the social stigma of the Segway is no longer blind only to mall cops and Adam Savage. So with walking having gone out of fashion in the, I'd estimate, late 2050s, I assume the experience of walking is now a thing of luxury, and the walking sim game genre must be thought of as a vacation from the arduous reality of not walking, due not only to your time's confusingly prominent sex appeal of segues, but also muscle atrophy. You know, back in my day, we used comas to get at that much desired no muscle state, but sure, in the future, you don't need to walk, so why do it, right? You may remember, future Caleb, that in my time, 2017, the walking simulator was only just getting the respect it deserved, and the term itself, walking simulator, was being reappropriated from its disparaging origins to become a legitimate moniker. It's like how in 2017 we call runny poop diarrhea, but in 2078 runny poop has become sentient and now championed the term diarrhea as an homage to the struggles of their ancestors. Yeah. No, that previous joke is not a commentary on the contemporary use of the n-word by some African Americans. I just think the image of sentient diarrhea is really funny. That's as simple as that. The walking sim has earned a spot in my top three gaming genres, and this includes your standard hyphenates, your action adventure, your puzzle platformer, your action RPG, and so on. So I'm considering literally dozens of game genres when I make this claim that the walking sim is so, so, so good. And notice I didn't even in these intolerant days of 2017 avoid use of the term walking sim in favor of some defensively constructed descriptor full of implied caveats. Oh uh, no, it's 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 an exploratory of non-combat uh, focused narrative casual adventure. No, I embrace the term walking sim. I'm not a martyr here. Plenty of people are already defending the genre and the name. Just do a Google search for it or in the future a Bing search. Uh, but for the most part, walking sims still represent a very peripheral part of the gaming ecosphere. And I've been wondering lately, why is that? I think, unlike many other genres, walking sims require personal vetting prior to getting praise. You can't get someone excited by the plot of a walking sim. Consider these scenarios, for example. Uh, so what's this game Firewatch about? Uh, you walk around in a forest talking to a radio. So what's this game Everybody's Gone to the Rapture about? Uh... You walk around looking for spirits while talking to nobody. Uh, what's this game Gone Home about? You walk around your home talking to nobody? No thanks. Conversely, consider this scenario. So what's this game Bloodborne about? Oh, you hunt out all these demon monster things with a variety of badass weapons. Is there simulated walking? Only if you want to be scythed by a bloodthirsty farmer. No, 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 I don't want that. But anyone who has played Firewatch, Everybody's Gone to the Rapture, Gone Home, or even Dear Esther, which most consider to be the official first walking sim, knows that it's hard to properly explain the experience of a walking sim. And that's their point, really. To provide an experience above all else, above mechanics, above gameplay, even above the traditionally inherent sense of victory with a game, a player is subjected to the experience. This reality simply doesn't make good Let's Play fodder or good TV commercial fodder. It's, it's a hard sell, the genre. Walking Sims have earned a place in my top three genres because, well, because I took the time to play them, and they've simply never let me down. But back to that traditionally inherent sense of victory that I mentioned above, Walking sims are often pushed aside, I think, because walking sims defy what it means to be a game. Now, let me explain a little bit. See, developers and gamers, really, love a crossbreed. Action game plus adventure game equals action adventure. Puzzle plus platformer equals puzzle platformer. Action plus RPG equals action RPG. But walking sim is the one genre that resists being absorbed into a hyphenate. Its mechanics are defined by exclusion. Uh, you wouldn't have an infinite runner walking sim, not just because the pairing is nominally absurd, but because the genre conventions are polar opposites. Endless runner equals go fast, avoid objects. Walking sim equals go slow, explore objects. But even less absurd pairings aren't really possible. You couldn't really have an RPG walking sim or an action adventure walking sim. And this is the case primarily because a defining characteristic of a walking sim is the absence of a lose condition. 
The only option is completing the game, uh, though a Bitter Empire article linked below does make a good point that the player simply giving up when the narrative stops being interesting could be considered a sort of lose condition, a point that I'm open to exploring, but also I think it's a point that adheres to all game genres, so I'm not fully inclined to accept it as unique to the walking sim genre. All other game genres insist upon a lose condition, that is, by definition, an important component of what it means to be a game. Sure, micro moments within walking sims can have binary outcomes. You can either open that desk drawer or don't open that desk drawer. Uh, but the genre doesn't have a single global objective that can be failed. So the obvious question is, are walking sims even games? Well, for the sake of retail placement and consistency within the industry, yes, they will always be shelved and discussed as games, but I don't think that they actually are games. Now, this may be kind of a personal belief. Uh, I tend to align myself to the side of game formalists as opposed to game abstractionists, a distinction that is discussed in a great, great, great video by Jamin Warren when he explores the definition of a game as outlined by Jesper Huell. Uh, there's a link in the description below. I highly recommend you watch that video. But this refusal by some to accept The Walking Sim as a proper game is why fans of the genre, at least I speak for myself, have this insistent drive to defend it. Walking Sims defy what gamers have come to accept as a game, but this is also why the genre has risen so quickly, I think. If a category name is disparaging, uh, defenders will rise. If first-person shooters were originally tossed aside via the term murder simulator, and in some cases they actually were, fans of the genre would defend it and arguably the genre would have taken off even much faster than it did. Damn, if I were into video game marketing, I would build entire ad campaigns created to artificially disparage. Uh, the sentient diarrhea action platformer would be the fastest growing genre in history. I'm certain of this. Already you're thinking that sounds like a cool game. I know you are. So what's the future of The Walking Sim? I hope that your future Caleb muscle atrophied body is connected to a neural interface that lets you feel every pebble under your feet, the breeze in the air, the sweat on your brow with every virtual step you take. More likely though is that despite my assertion above that Walking Sims inherently avoid hyphenation, smart developers will find a way to take what's great about The Walking Sim and merge those aspects into other genres. A great example that I recently played uh, of this already happening is the third person walking sim platformer Bound. Walking platformer maybe is what it could be called? See? I'm already a future smart developer. Bound focuses on the environment. Bound focuses on narrative momentum. Bound lacks a lose condition. Sure, you can fall off the edge of a cliff, but when you do, you immediately respawn. Uh, but it's not just the perspective that bucks the walking sim establishment. The game is a platformer, really. Uh, the game even has minor combat elements, but not enough to pull, it, uh, pull the genre away from walking sim and toward action by any means. I guess my point is, if I have one, is that I'm jealous, future Caleb, that you get to see what comes of the walking sim, and that your future society is generally pretty cool with immobility, and not moving is pretty much my favorite thing right now. Uh, but people looked down on me for that in 2017. Uh, oh, to be born 30 years from now when the shackles of movement have been removed. You're so lucky. Thank you, current viewer, for watching, and please leave a comment. Tell me what you think of Walking Sims and if they will be around in the future. Tell me your favorite Walking Sim, and subscribe to this channel. That would be lovely. Give this video a thumbs up. That would be super lovely as well. And future Caleb, say hi to your grandkids for me.